Hi guys, my name is Chris from MMA Allen. Today I'm interviewing Bill Tour Bantamweight Dom Wooding. Dom, how's it going? What's, what's going on, man? What's going on? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, I, I know this is your first fight booked for uh, 2020. Uh, how would you? I know 2020 has been crazy for all of us, but how would you uh, describe your 2020 so far? Um, pretty much is pretty much the same as everyone else's. You can go on saying like, yeah, the whole world, the whole world was in lockdown, and um, there was not much that we could all do. Uh, but obviously, training wise. Um, obviously we all had to us as fighters we all had to adapt our training and just change up a few things as, as like gyms were closed and stuff so we had to adapt like I'd do a lot of my work at home and like in the park and like meet up with different teammates and like work in the park and whatnot. do you get what I'm saying so so obviously my lo- no, it's just been pretty much the same as like every 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 other fighter do you get what I'm saying just obviously, yeah for sure obviously at that time just waiting for Waiting uh, to hear some news about 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 when when I'd next be fighting. Mm-hmm. And you know you're gonna fight uh, next month in Paris. Uh, how does it feel to be one of the first eight fighters to fight in an MMA event like uh, like Paris? Say that again. Oh, how does it feel to be one of the first fighters in MMA to uh, compete in Paris? Oh, one of, what one of the first? Yes. Man. Yeah, man, it's, it's it's obviously a good feeling. Obviously, like um, France just has just been um, legalized. I think this past January. So obviously, like it's a historic event, and and I'm just I'm just I'm obviously happy to be a part of it, and I'm um, I'm ready to just go in there October 10th and Riverside. This guy, he's getting X. <laughs> yeah, and. Um... I know, like, uh, other promotions, like the UFC, you know, was interested in, like, going to places like Paris. I mean, they're, like, in Abu Dhabi right now, but were you surprised at all that Bellator was able to be the first promotion to pull it off in Paris? Say that again, sorry? Uh, Were you surprised at all that uh, Bellator was the first promotion to get to Paris? Well, Bellator was the first promotion to go to Paris. I'm not not too too surprised, to be honest. I'm not too surprised, man. Knowing the way how Bellator move and whatnot, they 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 like to set goals and 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 once they set a goal, they 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 push for it. So I'm not surprised that uh, Bellator is the first major organization to, to 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 make an event in 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 France. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, it was expected. You get what I'm saying? Kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, is this going to be your first time in Paris, or have you been there before? I've been there millions, millions of times. I can't even count how many times I've been to Paris. You get what I'm saying? So it feels like it just—it will feel like I'm fighting in England, kind of thing. You get what I'm saying? Because obviously we're so close. So mm-hmm. no bother. There, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you know, you fought in Dublin. You fought in London. Uh, what? What's your ideal uh, place to fight? Like, what's your favorite place to fight in? One of my goal. One of my goals uh, in terms of fighting venues, one of my goals with Bellator is to fight in Madison Square Garden. I want to get to the States and fight, man. Do you get what I'm saying? So, obviously, I'm going to get through this guy. Um, probably get through a couple more, and then maybe, maybe I can fight stateside. you get what I'm saying? But, obviously, mm-hmm. one of my goals, one of my goals with Bellator uh, is to fight in the Madison Square Garden. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, MSG under the bright lights, I like that. Uh... And, like, I know there's not, uh, like, if MSG were to happen, you know, like, there wouldn't be pan- uh, fans for the most part. Uh, but uh, how does it feel to fight in an empty arena for one of the first times? You know what? I don't even think it's going to be in an empty arena. I think there's going to be a crowd. I'm hearing 5,000 max. Wow, that's um, great. That's great to hear. Yeah, because I, I, see, I see them, they, I see them, they, they, they put a post on it said tickets available. So I was just thinking, oh. There's going to be a crowd, so obviously I do think there's going to be yeah, there is going to be a crowd. Um, so I don't think I'm going to I don't think I'm going to get to experience um, fighting without a crowd, which is like I can't I, I I did I did want I did want to experience fighting without the fans, but obviously it is what it is. It's always good to have the fans there. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, especially during this, during this time, like with the with the virus and stuff, I was I was actually really surprised that 
they're actually going to put some people in the arena to to to, to spectate to spectate the event. You get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. yeah, same. Yeah, I'm I'm really surprised that Bellator is trying to pull that off. Yeah. And uh, I guess like leading into the next fight, you're fighting against. Uh, forgive me if I pronounce his name wrong, but it's like why are you why are you telling me to forgive you? It's not <laughs> my name. I don't care about his name. Yeah, I think it's uh, mention it. However, you want to mention it. <laughs> uh, I think it's Fabrizio uh, Daita. Whatever. Uh, the yeah, name like is, man. What, yeah. What do you think of him as an opponent going into this fight? To be honest with you, like he's just a. He's just a tough, wild African, I would say. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, he st- his style of fighting is no surprise to me. Like, I fought guys like that. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like, it's not surprising. It's not surprising me. Like, that type of fighting style works well for my style. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, tight, like that mm-hmm. Matador type, Matador versus the Bull type kind of fight. Do you get what I'm saying? So. Mm-hmm. That's that's how that's how the fight that's how the fight's gonna be. That's how the fight's gonna be. A, a slick, crisp, calculated matador versus an uneducated. Well, do you get what I'm saying? So that's how the fight's gonna be. Like obviously, like don't get twisted. I do think he. I do. I do think he's gonna be strong and whatnot. But being strong in the fight fades throughout the rounds. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just. I'm gonna mm-hmm. go in there, do my do my thing, dissect him. And then the, the 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 opening will be be there for me to finish him. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? I, I feel like he's gonna give me he's gonna give me the finish. You get what I'm saying? And once he does give me that finish, he's he's, he's gonna be straight riverside. Do you get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's that. So you're predicting a finish, um, like in the terms of like the Mystic Maca prediction. Uh, do you think it goes down by knockout or a submission in this fight? I can sub this guy. I can knock him out. I could, I could do whatever, I could do whatever, Tim. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, the thing is, with, the thing is with him, it's like, oh, excuse me. Yeah, sorry. Right. Sorry, right. Oh, sorry about that. No. Um, no yeah, but like with this uh, opponent, uh, like you know, like you expect to finish. Uh, I know your nickname's the Black Panther. Uh, unfortunately, Chadwick Boseman passed away a few weeks ago. Uh, where were you when that happened, and what was your reaction to his death? Honestly, I was in bed. Um, my girlfriend, like, we woke up together, and obviously she, she obviously showed, showed me the news. Obviously, it was quite of a shock. Obviously, it was unfortunate, but life life can hit you like that. You just can hit you like like like, like a truck. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's obviously unfortunate and obviously sad. Especially for like all the Marvel fans and whatnot that 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 follow the Marvel movies and whatnot, but um, like they say, the show must go on. Like obviously it's unfortunate, but he obviously he he was he was a powerful figure, especially like in the black community. Do you get, do you get what I'm saying? Like obviously like a powerful black film like the Black Panther and the, take within like the Mar within like the within the Marvel companies. Do you get what I'm saying? So obviously it was it, mm-hmm. it was a good look for, for 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 us black people, but obviously his death was was um, obviously unexpected and obviously un- unfortunate, but that's life for you. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, and, you know, choosing uh, or, like, getting that nickname, uh, did, you, did you ever think about having your nickname be, like, something like uh, Killmonger? Something that, like, we haven't uh, seen? See, 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 this, see, this is the thing, yeah? Listen, right? This is this, this the thing. This is the thing, yeah? It's like... People see because obviously my my nickname is Black Panther. So obviously people think people think my nickname's from people think my nickname's from from the movie. It's not. It's not from the. Oh, got it, got it. Literally from the animal. Like I've been I've been riding this nickname for the past eight years. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah. Originally it was it, it got given to me like uh, from a teammate and and he was saying like I'm like a cat. And like he was saying to me, like I can't call you a cat, so I have to give you another name. It was like we'll call you the Black Panther, obviously, which is a bigger cat. So obviously, I got the name from the actual animal. I didn't get it from the I didn't get it from the um, from the Marvel character. But a, a couple of years ago, a teammate of mine told me he was just like, you know, why don't you just walk out to your fight with a Black Panther mask? And I was just like, you know what, that's that seems like a good shout. And then from there, I started wearing the Black Panther mask. So obviously. People started catching on. Obviously, the film came out as well. So, <laughs> started catching on, and 
people started thinking that I got the nickname from from the Marvel character when that's not the case. Do you know what I'm saying? But obviously, mm-hmm. obviously now, if they if Marvel and Disney they do make a, a new Black Panther movie, I think they should get me. I think they should get me to to act as uh, T'Challa. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, hey, I, I'd be down to see that. You know, like an MMA crossover. Um, I think Chadwick Boseman also trained a lot of MMA heading into yeah, that see, I'll acting see, I'll, role. Yeah, I've seen some videos of him training in martial arts. That was, that was, that was, that was obviously a good look, a very good look. And I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know he was doing martial arts until until I found out he died. When I started seeing videos go around, go around social media. Um, you know, that, that, was, that was solid of him to, to, to take on uh, martial arts tra- uh, training and whatnot. It was a good look. Yeah. yeah. And I guess going away from MMA, like, um, would you ever pursue an acting career? Or, like, um, what are some other things you think that you would make a career out of? Yeah, 100%. Of- yeah, acting, acting, acting's in there, 100%. If you, if you go on my socials, you'll see, especially my Instagram. If you go on my Instagram, you'll see, you'll see cert- certain videos that I release on my, on my timeline of me acting and whatnot. And, you could, you could, you could see, you could see me, you could picture me in a film. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Especially yeah, that sure. Black Panther one. If they do make a new Black Panther sequel, I think they should get me, man, for sure, man. But um, yeah, acting, acting is definitely, definitely, definitely along along the lines with it, within within my other ventures within with within my career. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah, mm-hmm. man. And you know, like I guess speaking about that movie, um, it's kind of hard to replace Chadwick Boseman, but a lot of people are thinking about, like, Michael B. Jordan stepping in as Black Panther, which, I mean, it doesn't make much sense because, he, you know, he's a villain. It doesn't make sense. Listen, to be honest, I'm the original. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm the original Black Panther. Do you get what I'm saying? I do the real fight. All of that mm-hmm. film stuff is all choreographed, but I do the real fight. So you might as well just get me. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Marvel might as well just get me. Yeah. And they don't have to teach you any MMA or any choreog- choreography because, I mean, I'll, I'll you basically know them. everything, right? I'll teach them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach them. I'll teach them. I'll probably be doing the, chore- the, the fighting scenes, the, cho- uh, the choreography. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And um, I guess, uh, like, you know, taking your talents to the next level, I know that you signed with Paradigm uh, yeah. earlier this year. Uh, how have they been to you and... Uh, do you think their um, their agency takes you to the next level? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that, that's that's the whole reason I signed with them because I, I thought like they're going to take me to the next level. And the thing is, it's like with Paradigm, I've been in contact with them for the past couple of years. Obviously, I was with my old management, so obviously I was laying my loyalty towards my old management whilst they approached me. So mm-hmm. obviously, I'm not with my previous management anymore. And um, obviously, uh, signing with Paradigm was the correct move for me because I, I was getting I was getting other offers from other major. Um, MMA management firms, you get what I'm saying? But obviously, I, I felt like Paradigm was was the, was the correct one for me and for my career. Mm-hmm. And I guess, like, uh, like right now with Bellator, um, is it, uh, do you have a Dele, uh, Dev, uh, Dev, uh, sorry. Developmental, Developmental or, contract. Yeah, like, how's your contract yeah. looking for Bellator? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's my, yeah, that's my contract. I'm on the de- uh, development contract. Um, Obviously, this is like I'd say because I because I, I signed with them to uh, 2008 August 2018. I signed with them before. so obviously like this is obviously me getting through this fight. Then obviously I'll, I should be able to get a new contract, and then from there, we sh- me and my manager should be able to sort out um, a renewal after after this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And do you see yourself like in Bellator for the next couple of years, or like are you looking to pursue uh, pursue your dreams and other promotions like the UFC. Like to be honest, it's like I get people they like they I get people they say to me, oh like, well when you go in UFC, this and that, blah blah blah. But the thing is, it's like I'm not so much in a rush to get in the UFC. Do you get what I'm saying? Like I like Bellator. Mm-hmm. I like the way they I like the way they treat their fighters. I like the way they I like the way they do their shows and whatnot. And I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine with being with Bellator for the next for the next few years. You get what I'm saying? Like. Mm-hmm. They pay similar to like UFC, so it's like there's no plus the sponsorships to... and uh, you know exactly. plus that, that as well. Yeah, exactly, See, exactly. Plus that sponsorships as well. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm not in a rush to get in. I'm not in a rush to get into the UFC. Do you get what I'm saying? So like, I just get all my ex- before getting there. Obviously, I'd like to get all my experience outside before getting in there. But obviously, like Bellator's Bellator's up there with the UFC, so it's like. 
I don't mind. I don't mind staying here for for as long for as long as I want to. Do you get do you get what I'm saying? So I'm not in a rush to go to any other different promotions. You know, do you get what I'm saying? I like Bellaton. I like the way how they run things, and I like the way how they do things. So I'm here to stay. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and you know, you're 24. You're young. You're hungry. Exactly. I'm young. Uh, I'm young. I'm young. Like literally, I've got I've got like another solid 10 to 12 years left in me. Do you know what I mean? To to compete. Mm, you know for what I'm sure. I'm still young. I'm still still young in this game. You know what I'm saying? So, still like, like leaps and bounds to go. Do you know what I mean? Throughout the year, so still a young buck. Mm-hmm. And the belts for bantamweight division is kind of stacked right now. You know, you have Sergio Pettis, you have Ricky Bendejas, uh, you have Juan Archuleta. Uh, which one of those fights sounds the most appealing to you? I mean, it, obviously, it doesn't have to be Dostria, but uh, is there like a dream fight for you in belts for right now? I ain't really got a dream fight, but one 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 guy that I like to fight in the bantamweight division would would be um, Sergio Pettis. I think I think I think me and him would be a good fight. I think that'd be a good good spectacle. I think that'd be a good fight for the fans, and that's I think that's a solid fight. Me me versus Sergio Pettis. I, I like him as a fighter, and obviously I was I, I obviously have been watching him, um, obviously when he was in the UFC and whatnot. But um, obviously now he's in Bellator, and obviously the chances of me fighting him are are a lot higher now. Obviously as we fight in the same promotion, so. Me versus Sergio Pettis, that'll be, that'll be, that'll be a sick fight. Mm-hmm. Be a sick fight and, yeah. yeah, for sure. And uh, many people think that he's next in line for the title shot against Juan Archuleta. Mm-hmm. Uh, who do you think takes that fight? Who, who wins that one? Mm, that's a tough one, you know, because Juan, Juan, Juan is a tough fight as well. Um, I don't know, man. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a coin flip. I don't know, man, because... I don't know, man. I like Sergio, and obviously, he's, Juan, Juan is a tough, Juan, Juan is a tough fight. He's a, he's a good fighter. I don't know. I, I can't really pick there. I can't really pick. Um, I think on paper, Juan should win. But obviously, I'd like to think, I'd like to think Sergio, so, Sergio, Sergio beats him. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, for sure. All in all, all in all, it is, it is a tough fight. Do you get what I'm saying? It is a tough fight. So mm-hmm. it's, it's a good fight as well. Yeah. Yeah, and last question I had for you, like I know you have like you said that you have like ten to twelve years le- left in you in this game. Uh, walking away from the sports, uh, what's the kind of legacy that you want to leave behind for all these um, MMA fighters and fans that come after you? Yeah, obviously, like I don't want to just be an MMA just to add the numbers. You get what I'm saying? I'm I'm here to leave a, an imprint. Do you know what I mean? So obviously, when I'm when I'm done, I'm here. I I, I want to leave with obviously people talking about me you get what i'm saying so mm-hmm. and obviously the way i fight not a lot of people fight like me so my 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 my, my, my style of fighting stands out do you get what i'm saying so obviously leave, leaving the sport i like i love to leave, leave an imprint for for the young up-and-comers do you get what i'm saying and just 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 leave a good imprint do you know what i mean With, within mm-hmm. the sport you know what i'm saying and and yeah. and, and do things do things that i possibly that do things that I think that I, c- I couldn't have done and what other people thought I couldn't have done. Do you get what I'm saying? So, so yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, I think that's all the questions I have. I just want to thank you for the time uh, before your fights. I really appreciate it. Uh, is there anything that you want to say to the fans, that, uh, fans out there watching this? Just watch out. October 10th. Um, sneakers in Paris. October 10th. Sneakers in Paris. And we're going at it. And you're going to see a matador versus a bull. And you're going to see a spectacular. I'm going to make a spectacle of this fight. Do you know what I mean? Like, every time, every time I come, every time, especially, like, when I take, t- like, when I take time off um, after a fight, when I do, I, especially, like, a loss, when I come back, I always come back and make, make a ma- major statement. Do you know what I'm saying? And, obviously, it can't be on any other better show than, obviously, this is a historic event in Paris. Do you get what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. I'm yeah, best of luck. To, best of luck to the original Black Panther, and uh, I'm hoping to watch you fight in October. Best of luck yeah, to man. you, man. Sure, man. Thank you very much. Let me end this. Yeah. Man, the right. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna end it now.